Hey everyone, so if you are looking for a walkable neighborhood with a downtown area with shops and restaurants, but yet still in the suburbs, then you gotta check out this neighborhood tour. We're in Aspenwall today, hope you enjoy the tour. Whether this is your first driving tour with me or you have viewed some of my other tours, please know how much of a privilege it is for me to introduce you to neighborhoods and communities in the Pittsburgh area. If you are like most of my viewers, you are considering a move to the Pittsburgh area and you're not familiar with the many communities you have to choose from. You are looking to find your place in the world and I am thankful for the opportunity to help you do that. As you can see, Aspenwall is a very unique community compared to many of the other neighborhood tours I have done. On the day I filmed, there was an unusual amount of construction, but typically this is a very quiet neighborhood of tree-lined streets where residents are often found sitting on their front porches. You won't find sprawling homes with large yards, but you will find upscale homes with plenty of charm in a very walkable residential community in a thriving business district. The borough of Aspinwall has about 2,800 residents living in a total area of less than half a square mile. Most of Aspenwall is between the Allegheny River and Route 28. Aspenwall is about 15 minutes to downtown Pittsburgh and about 10 minutes to the Pennsylvania Turnpike at the Allegheny Valley Interchange. Aspenwall sits between the boroughs of Sharpsburg and Blonox. Just across the Highland Park Bridge is the city of Pittsburgh. In the late 19th century, as the Industrial Revolution triggered the enormous growth of the steel industry up and down the rivers of the Pittsburgh area, a superintendent of a local prison in Blonox, Henry Warner, had an idea to create a residential community on the banks of the Allegheny River. Warner wanted to attract upper middle class residents that wanted to escape the dirt and noise of the big city. He purchased 155 acres from Annie Aspinwall, a descendant of James Ross, and formed the Aspinwall Land Company in 1890. Home sites were immediately sold, and by 1892, the growing town officially broke away from O'Hara Township and incorporated as the borough of Aspenwall. There are very few communities like Aspenwall in the Pittsburgh region, but a few that come to mind include Oakmont, Sewickley, and Mount Lebanon. It is a close-knit community with lots of amenities and resources. There are three parks in Aspenwall. The Aspenwall Firemen's Memorial Park, located at the end of 9th Street, the Aspenwall Recreation Area, located on the western edge of the borough, and the Allegheny River Trail Park, which offers gardens, trails, fishing, Bill's Dock, and a playground. If you are into rankings, Aspenwall was recently ranked by Niche.com as the number two best place to live in the Pittsburgh area. One reason is the walkable access to a wide variety of businesses, shops, and restaurants. Whether you are looking for an insurance agent, financial planner, hair salon, yoga studio, chiropractor, dentist, pizzeria, ice cream shop, bookstore, designer boutique, and so much more, you can find it in Aspenwall. Check out the link in the description for the Aspenwall Chamber of Commerce. The borough of Aspenwall is one of six municipalities that make up the Fox Chapel Area School District. The others include Blonox, Fox Chapel, Indiana, O'Hara, and Sharpsburg. There are four elementary schools in Fox Chapel, and elementary age students that live in Aspenwall are assigned to the recently renovated Kerr Elementary School. The Fox Chapel Area School District consistently ranks as one of the highest achieving districts in the state. All of the schools have received awards and special recognition, including being named National Blue Ribbon Schools. The district website linked below has several resources geared specifically for prospective residents. So, based on what you are seeing so far, maybe a quiet suburban setting with high achieving schools and the ability to walk to local businesses is just what you're looking for. Well, there are some important characteristics to point out. There are some properties that have off-street parking and detached garages, but many homes only have street parking. Streets are wide and parking is easy to find. Many of the homes were built before 1940, though many of them have modern updates and renovations. The large Victorian with three or four bedrooms and at least two full bathrooms is common. 
But the housing inventory in Aspinwall also includes bungalows, colonials, and some newer builds including townhomes and condos. In the last 12 months since this video was released, there were 40 properties sold in Aspinwall. 32 were single family homes, three were townhomes, and five were condos. The median sales price of a single family home was $395,000, which was 100% of the median asking price. Homes spent an average of 21 days on the market. I hope this was a valuable introduction to one of the most sought after neighborhoods in the Pittsburgh area. If you wanna look at homes currently for sale in Aspinwall, check out the link in the first pinned comment below. Thanks for coming along the neighborhood tour of Aspenwall and be sure to check out all the other neighborhood tours on my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.